In today's video, I am going to be breaking down why I personally believe that Ky So first off, let's really look at what he does really well. And that is breaking down his defender so that he can get these mid-range shots. He can bang around in the low post as well, but he is really well known for hitting these mid-range shots. So after he receives this ball, he squares up to the rim, he keeps that ball behind his body, keeping it protected from reaching defenders. He's keeping his head up so that he can scan the entire court, and then he moves that ball extremely quickly. He clears out space. Notice how he's able to keep his elbows pretty well underneath the ball. There's a reason for this. Back in the 90s and early 2000s, when I started learning how to play basketball, you could keep your elbows out and smack players around if they got too close. But today, you can't do that, and you need to keep your elbows in. That clears out space, especially with that jab that actually gets that defender down onto his heels. At this time, Kai Soto rises up into his shot because he's come down, he's keeping that ball close to his body with two hands on it, obviously. He brings that left leg in, and because he's a left-handed shooter, he's going to be tilted slightly towards that right side, and he's able to get that shoulder, elbow, and line to the rim, and he can hit these shots with pretty good accuracy. Now, this is why I personally believe that Kai Soto is going to have a chance to make the NBA earlier than what most people think. This is Jordan Clarkson. He plays for the Utah Jazz. He also plays for the Philippines. Him and Kai Soto were linking up the entire tournament. And guess what? These full court passes, that's just amazing. That dunk right there from that pass from Jordan Clarkson is amazing. That ball got through perfectly. Kai Soto kept that ball slightly high. He did dip it just a bit there, which I always try to keep it high. But he was able to keep it away from those defenders and make a massive slam. Kai Soto is also very good in the full court. Here we can see a pass from Jordan Clarkson to a cutting player who is then able to cut across the key, draw multiple defenders, and he has two options. He can pass for a three or he can pass for a for sure basket to Kai Soto because Kai Soto is a 100% for sure player when it comes to anything around the basket. Kai Soto is also very good on the weak side. So we have a player on the opposite side of the court is Kai Soto setting up, scanning the court. He then decides to use that screen and then attack the basket. At this point, he's trying to split that screen in a way to try to cut back on this player and it's not going to work out very well because Kai Soto comes from way over on the help side to be able to block this shot. He gets just a fingertip on it. Now that is very impressive. And then coming off of the screen, he's able to find open spaces on the court, especially with his size it helps, and slam down that ball. So this is almost like a back screen almost, where this player could have cut back, but he didn't. He didn't split that screen. And what that did for Kai Soto was that left both players chasing the ball handler. Kai Soto then, of course, attacked the basket later on, but he should have been either popping for a shot over here, or cutting and getting to the rim earlier after you set that screen at this point right there he should have been sprinting in he should have recognized that both of his players were leaving him and there was nobody coming over to of course help out and by that not happening and him leaving just a bit too late that allowed his man to recover back and by recovering back that made him still covered slightly he was still able to get that ball, still able to get that dunk, but if he was just to cut back just a bit earlier, he would have had the ability to slam that down even harder probably. Now, the reason why this worked extremely well is because they're spacing the floor. So first off, I'm going to show you something really quick. If you're the rebounder, you need to get the outlet. If you have a player who is going pretty close to full speed or at least sprinting in that direction, hand it off because now he sees the court. He knows what's going on and he has a full head of steam going down court. You don't. Hand it off quick. Then that player is able, Jordan Clarkson's able to go up that side and he's spreading the court. He did this instead of going up the middle because now by going wide, he's drawing eyes towards, of course, that side, leaving Kai Soto wide open. Because now, at half court, he's drawn these players, and because they were looking at him and not noticing Kai Soto, because Jordan Clarkson went wide, he's now able to get 
Kai Soto wide open, and of course for that alley-oop slam. Kai Soto also knows the principle of verticality. By jumping straight up into the air with your hands straight up, you can block and contest shots without getting the foul. In the NBA, yes, this technically is a foul because he left from inside that half circle, but in the FIBA game, as long as you go straight up, you're generally fine. So make sure to go check out that hardest basketball shooting workout down in the description below. It's going to help you be able to shoot the basketball further and more accurately. And of course, I hope that this video has helped you become a better basketball player. I hope, anyways, that you hit that subscribe button because I post videos every single day. I'll see you guys again next time.